Thin shaming. I just watched a video by Joe Rogan where he talks about uh, thin shaming. I n- I'd never even heard of this before. Basically saying um, you shouldn't be like posting pictures of yourself if you've got a nice body because um, you make fat people feel bad about themselves. Uh, Joe Rogan likened it to um, shaming white men because um, if you're a white man, then you're obviously totally clued out about the suffering in the world. Now, um, I remember one time when I was like 17, I saw this little like seven-year-old girl who was morbidly obese at the bus stop. And I felt like crying for her because I thought she must look in the mirror and think no boy would ever like me. And like her self-esteem must be shattered. She knows people look at her and think, ooh, um, how terrible. It's like a little kid being looked at like they're a monster, you know? Your heart goes out to them. Uh, it's not her fault. Her parents obviously buy her awful food. And she's going to have this problem for life. And heart disease, they found, begins very early, like even when you're seven, if you're if you're overweight. You can see traces of it beginning. But um, it's still a problem, and you can't pretend it's not one. And we can't thin shame people in a sense of like, you shouldn't wear a bikini on the beach because you're going to make fat people feel bad about themselves. I don't get any sympathy for uh, being a smoker or an alcoholic, and I don't expect it. I wouldn't want it. I know it's bad and stupid. Um, I'm not going to shame people for being sober or not smoking. But the difference between smoking or drinking drug addiction and uh, being obese is that you can hide your drug addiction. I can, you know, go to a public place and hide the fact that I'm a smoker or a drinker because I can look, I can pass as looking like a non-smoker or non-drinker. An overweight person can't hide it no matter what. And that's sad. Um, they, they go on the bus and everybody knows that they've been eating. You know, and it really is an addiction. I, I, I realized only recently that overweight people, they think about food the way smokers think about cigarettes. Overweight weight people, they look forward to lunch for, for like four hours. They're just, that's all they're thinking about. Okay, okay, it's lunchtime at 12. Okay. And then as soon as they finish their lunch, they think, oh no, six hours until dinner. And that's how they think. Just like a, dr- a drinker or a smoker, it's like, okay, I can have a cigarette in an hour. Or, oh, you know, can I want to have my cigarette break. And it's like the only thing on their mind. Also, I think that um, obese people don't count the snacks they have. They just think, oh, well, I had a small dinner and I had a small lunch, so I'm doing good. But they don't count the chips that they're eating when they're watching TV because they're not even paying attention. They're not even consciously eating these these Doritos. They're just watching the movie, and before they know it, the whole Doritos bag's done. Um, you know, and as, so, as somebody who's never had an obesity problem, um, I got to say, I don't, uh, I'll have a chocolate bar once every two months. I'll have a big bag of chips once every two months. I'll have ice cream once every two months. So I think like fat people need to realize that it's not just their body. They actually are eating bad stuff. And they like to think, oh, well, skinny people, they eat just as much as we do, but they just don't get fat. And it's not true. However, and this is sad, uh, I think it's been proven scientifically that if you're obese as a child, you will always have an obesity problem for the rest of your life. About a year ago, there was some girl on Facebook who had like beautiful legs. She's like a dancer. And every single picture on Facebook was her legs. So eventually, I just started texting. I made fight fun of her on Facebook because I was angry. I don't know. I can be an asshole. And I just kept saying, we should call, you should call yourself legs from now on. That all you have is pictures of your legs. And so I'm not really like skinny shaming her. I'm shaming her for having putting her whole personality into her legs. And that's kind of lame. Just as much as a guy putting pictures of his pecs, and that's all he ever does. That's just how that is uh, pathetic. You should have, or your car. Or like those assholes who always have pictures of the vacations they're on because they're trying to show you how rich they are or how happy they are. But that's different. That's not just, uh, I'm not skinny shaming them for, for making fun of them for that or car shaming them. I'm just saying, like, is this the only element of your personality? Part of this defeatist culture where, you know, overweight people are allowed to shame skinny people. um, 
black people are allowed to shame white people. Um, women are allowed to shame men. Gays are allowed to shame straight people. I say defeatist culture because I'm not saying blacks are weaker than uh, whites or like likening it to the same as fat to skinny necessarily. But in a way, I mean, they are minorities, so they do not get as many privileges. White people do get more privileges. Um, men will always get more privileges than women to a degree in a sense that, you know, something like 80% of all CEOs are over six feet tall because people just see height as authority. And because men are taller than women, there would be more men that are going to be CEOs. So there's going and sports also, right? So there's going to be areas where men will always have more power. And the uh, the way I deal with it is, if somebody's going to say to me, try to make me feel bad about having privileges, like, oh, it must be nice to be able to do this. My answer now is just, well, yeah, and it must suck not having to be able to do that. Like, oh, it must be nice being rich. Yeah, well, it's nice. Be- it must suck being poor. It must be nice being tall. Yeah, and it must be awful being short. It must be nice being skinny. Well, it must suck to being fat. And you started it, so I've, I'm, I'm just answering you. I knew a guy who was a security guard in a dangerous neighborhood in Toronto called Moss Park. And he was a white guy. And he arrested a black guy. And the black guy goes, it's because I'm black. And he, he goes, no, it's because I'm white. And I thought that was a funny response. And it's the guy asked for it because you know you're bringing race into it, so fine. There's this idea that Nietzsche had. I don't know much about Nietzsche, but it's called the transvaluation of values. And what he means is that um, Christians, I think that's who he was referring to in particular. They they were poor, so they had no choice but to turn poor being poor into a virtue and being rich into a sin. Because it's like, well, since we're poor, we might as well make it a virtue. So now we're going to make things like greed, sins, and things like humility, um, you know, good things. Virtues. And there's an element of truth to that. I mean, if you're morbidly obese, it it works better to say that uh, body doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what my body looks like. All that matters is what's inside. And people who pay attention to their body are shallow and stupid. Um, it, it's easier to think like that than to think maybe I should lose weight. Um, if you're a woman, it's easier to think maybe, um, you know, um, men, uh, you know, being tall and bigger doesn't mean anything. And uh, in fact, it's a, it means that they're, I don't know, inferior or something. And I guess at the end of the day, in in their ideal situation the ideal situation would be that um skinny people won't wear go to the beach and wear bikinis anymore because that's insulting to fat people white people won't go out in public either because they're just just the fact that they're white uh means they shouldn't be around men won't go to bars men won't hit on women anymore because that's wrong because uh just by trying to talk to a girl um you could be it could be construed as harassment or something. Um, Men won't get jobs anymore. (laughs) And uh, everybody's going to be a lot more lonely. And it'll only be fat black women who are lesbians that are at the beach. uh, Eventually. They're the only ones who, who should be out in public. Now I'm saying hypothetically, that's, I think that's what these people would want. These, uh, moral authorities these people who have some kind of some insecurity that they want to like deny and push on to other people that's their ideal situation it'll never be that of course but you know another uh, anecdote would be a girl i used to date she was involved in the feminist movement and she said there was this one girl who was uh, a lesbian and she was hindu and she would win every argument by bringing up, pulling up the race card, or the female card, or the um, you know the, uh, the lesbian card. So if she's ever talking to a, a woman, uh, a straight person, she she can like win the argument by saying, "Well, you're straight, so fuck you." And same with uh, if she's ever talking to a man or a white person. So she's very much trying to uh, eliminate all uh, everybody with who's white or straight or um, male from the conversation.
Mm. And of course it won't work because, you know, anybody who's white or male or straight is not going to stand stand for it. They're just going to say, yeah, well, it sucks to be you. Uh, I'm going to wear my bikini. <laughs> and you're going to have to just be mad while you look at me. Too bad. <laughs> it's just... Uh, it's wonderful, really. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, you just give them more power when you uh, show how much you're bothered by them, whoever they are, right? Um, causing issues really just brings the issues to yourself, not to the other person. You're At the end of the day, you're the one who looks like the fool when you go around trying to shame other people. And you will lose in the long term. And at the end of the day, I have a very much live and let live attitude. I mean, if you're overweight, that's fine. Like, whatever. I'm a smoker and a drinker. I got my own problems. Um, whatever. You know. I just get... I just don't like being shamed. And I'll shame you back if you shame me. Because I'm just... Uh, I don't have time for it. And it's easier for me to shame you if you're in the position of, uh, you know... A minority situation, whether you're fat or whether you're short or whether you're female or whether you're not um, a, a, of a culture or a race that's, uh, you know, at the forefront right now. Um, you're, you started the fight, so fine. I, look, I, I believe that um, non-white people and females deserve their time in the sun because they haven't had it. White men have had power for 2,000 years. It is definitely their turn. However, self-preservation means that I'm not going to just stand by and let myself get kicked out, right? Um, I'm not sorry, to, to conclude, I'm not sorry, sorry, uh, for being shaped like a man and not like a ball, like a round circle. I am not sorry for that. Nor am I sorry, sorry, for being attracted to females, or for being attracted to skinny females, or for being attracted to blonde-haired, uh, blue-eyed females. I'm not sorry for that, and I'm not wrong for that either. And you can be whatever the hell you want, and you can be into whatever the hell you want, but don't come around my my neck of the woods and start shaming me for anything, because I'm, not, I'm either not listening, or I'm just going to give you the middle finger, <laughs> or I'll laugh at you. And like, you know... One of the great things about being an underground artist or a, a very a YouTuber with very little views, or I'm not an actor, I don't have to kiss anybody's ass. I can say anything I want. I'm a wannabe writer, and I don't think writers really have to uh, be as politically correct as everybody else. So there. And it's awesome. It's actually pretty awesome. If you like gays, click like. If you like blacks, comment. If you like women, click notification bell. If you like gay women, subscribe. And if you like gay black women, uh, Patreon, Human Warnings, give me money.